Hello Elvis fans. In some previous videos we discussed Elvis's involvement with law enforcement and uh, we discussed uh, some details about the body that was found at Graceland. So let's discuss a little bit uh, about the happenings that led up to August 16, 1977 and uh, we'll go through these kind of quick so if we have to elaborate we'll do that later uh, in March of 1977 um, Elvis drew up a new will had it witnessed and he signed it he started cashing in his paid up life insurance policies and he sold his tour bus uh, March the 4th through March the 13th, uh, Elvis went on vacation to Hawaii with uh, some of his closest friends. And the friends stated that during this vacation, Elvis actor acted very unusually uh, as if he were saying goodbye. Uh, and then in April, the next month of 1977, the FBI began its interrogation of most of the in, uh, individuals that were involved with the sale of Elvis's airplane that we discussed in another video. Uh, Lawrence Wolfson uh, was one of the men that testified during this trial and uh, he stated on the stand uh, people the FBI didn't even suspect um, got something out of that Jetstar deal, uh, the sale of Elvis's airplane, and uh, if these names ever became known, uh, there would be physical repercussions taken against those individuals. Um, uh, on April the 1st uh, of that month, uh, 1977, Elvis canceled the end of his tour. Uh, the next day on April the 2nd, uh, uh, Elvis called a friend of his, uh, Wanda Hill, uh, and uh, told her that he had purchased the white suit uh, that he was going to be buried in. Um, May the 6th of 1977, uh, Elvis told his backup singer, Kathy Westmoreland, that although he looked fat now, uh, he was going to look good in his casket. Um, June 14th, 1977, uh, President Jimmy Carter uh, called Elvis at Graceland. Uh, we're told this was at about 5.18 p.m. and they talked for about six minutes. Uh, about a half an hour after that conversation, uh, the president is contacted uh, by a man named Peter Bensinger. He was the administrator of the DEA, of which Elvis was a member. Uh, so we don't know exactly what took place in those conversations, but uh, we know something was going on. Uh, <clears throat> June the 26th of 1977, um, Elvis had his uh, little black book uh, that's issued each year to federal agents. Uh, he showed this book to his friend Larry Geller uh, and showed Larry uh, that his own name, Elvis's name, was listed in this black book of federal agents. Uh, and Elvis stated uh, concern to Larry. He said uh, they are going to get Lisa Marie they're going to trap her. Uh, after this is over, Lisa will be brought to Graceland and many changes are going to be made. Um, and this was told to us by Larry Geller. Uh, on that same day, June the 26th, uh, Elvis filmed his uh, CBS TV special that aired uh, in October of 1977. And uh, before going on stage, he turned to his stepbrother, Rick Stanley and he said you know what Ricky 
I may not look too good for my television special tonight, but I'll look good in my coffin. Elvis was leaving hints all over the place. Uh, also on that day, the day of the uh, the day of the uh, uh, concert that he filmed, uh, the FBI signaled that the investigation into Frederick Peter Pro had enough evidence to go before the grand jury. Uh, August the 14th, 1977, uh, Elvis told his other stepbrother, David Stanley, uh, he gave him a big hug and said, I just want to tell you, I'll never see you again, and I love you very much. And this was two days before Elvis went away. Mm -hmm. uh, on that same day, August the 14th, uh, Elvis called a friend of his uh, named Ellen Foster uh, and told her that he was not going to be going on his upcoming tour that was scheduled to begin on August the 16th. Uh, she asked him if he was sick and Elvis replied, no, I'm not sick. I've never felt better in my life. All of my troubles are about to end. On August 15th, 1977, we know from a previous video, uh, U.S. Attorney Michael Cody advised uh, that the FBI uh, was ready to go before the grand jury with the Operation Fountain Pen case. Um, there are a lot of other uh, things that happened in 1977 that we'll uh, fill in some gaps with later. Uh, but you can see where a lot of things were happening. In 1977, Elvis was leaving lots of clues behind. Um, he was giving hints to a lot of people, uh, and, and we know of a lot of the, the hints he left after August 16, 1977, and we're going to cover some of those in another video. But um, I wanted to cover that right now, let you know some of the strange things that were going on. Um, and we're going to cover August 16th, uh, 1977 in detail and we'll most likely take a series of videos. Lots of things happened that day. So uh, I look forward to, uh, to working on that video and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you very much.